All right, we're tacking on equations of a circle to go with the circles we just finished. And um, this packet's really quick. We're going to work on it today, Monday, Tuesday. And then we'll start reviewing for our final and making note cards, which will then, the open-ended section will be that Friday. And then the, the fill-in-the-blank section will be the last Monday, Tuesday of the year. Um, on the cover of your packet here is steps for completing the square. We're actually focusing that on the second set of notes and worksheet two. Um, so we'll do that on Monday. But the steps are on the cover for you um, so they're easy to find. So we're on the back of this page um, for guided practice for worksheet one. And we're just going to talk about what the equation of a circle even is. What um, equation models this when I go to graph it? Okay, so really what we have here, if I want to figure out what this radius is, I can use the distance formula. So the radius is equal to the square root, and then you subtract your x's, so you have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared. Okay, that's what the radius is equal to. If I want to get rid of this square root, then I have to square both sides. So then you have r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And this is the most basic form of this function, um, which sometimes we call the parent function, because this is a circle at 0, 0, and then your radius can be any size. But this one will always start at 0, 0. So over here on the right is what it would look like if it doesn't start at 0, 0. HK could stand for any um, center of your circle. So it could stand for 2, 2 or negative 1, 3, um, wherever the center is. So if I set this up the same way where I use distance formula, I'd have X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. And when I square both sides here, You have r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And in this case, the center of your circle is always hk. And then your radius is the square root of what's on the other side. Okay, So you can find your center um, by looking at x and y. You can find your radius um, by square rooting the number on the end, the constant on the end. Okay. Um, so this is what we call um, the equation of a circle. And there are multiple forms, just like with quadratics or lines or several forms. Um, this one is called vertex form, and sometimes it's called standard form. Um, but it's the most common one that you'll see. So here... Determine the circle center and the radius. So it's the opposite sign because up here we're subtracting. So here my center is positive 2, negative 5. So remember it's just the opposite sign. And then the square root of 100 means that my radius is 10. Here the center would be positive 8 and 0 because y isn't adding or subtracting anything. And then the square root of 25 is 5. Okay. Here, my center is negative 3, positive 1, and my radius is the square root of 14. And I'm just going to leave it that way in exact form. I don't believe it simplifies any further. Um, so here's number 2. We're just doing the opposite. So we're writing the equation. Um, so I'd have x minus 0, which is just x squared, plus y minus 0, or just y squared, and then 4 squared is 16. For this one, I'd have x minus 3 squared plus y minus 7 squared equals 100, which is 10 squared. For this one, I would have x plus 3, because you're using the opposite sign, squared, y minus 5 squared. And this one says diameter, so my radius is 3, 3 squared is 9. Okay, 
last one, I would have x plus 5 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 11. Square root of 11 squared is just 11. And determine the center and the radius again. So again, remember it's opposite side. So you'd have negative 3, positive 4, and your radius is the square root of 16, which is 4. This one would be 0 for x, negative 8 for y, the square root of 4 is 2. This center would be positive 2 and positive 1, the square root of 100 is 10. On this last one, there's actually a typo. This is supposed to be a y, and um, we'll correct that um, for the future, but just change it to a y, please, and your center would be 1, 0, and your radius is the square root of 17. And again, I'm going to leave it this way because it's exact form. It doesn't simplify any further. Um, so we are worksheet, working on um, worksheet 1 today, which is two pages um, over the same idea. Okay, so it's in the back half of your packet.